What is up everyone, this is Supersight and welcome back to another video on Heyday. Thank you so much for stopping by, this episode and video is going to be awesome. I have got some calculations already worked out and so I'll be able to go straight into them and tell you some of those calculations which I haven't done straight away with the previous episodes. Anyway, we will start by leveling up and we will... And we'll just get rid of that. Right, so we will harvest, and here we go, level 11. There we go. Congratulations, you are now a level 11 farmer. So that is awesome. We have unlocked bacon and eggs, a fence, stone path. We've got a TNT barrel and a dynamite, and we have got three more great fields. So not right now. Right, so that is really, really good. And we will go ahead straight away and put these new fields in, and we will turn that round. Right, we're going to have to work out a new place because I like to be able to see my fields because if you can't see them, then it's like not that great. Anyway, we will... Nope, our silo is full. Okay, so we will go over here and we have sold all this. Right, so we need to sell some more stuff. I'm just selling off the wheat for one coin because I have so much of it. But, yeah, there we go. So Right, so I'll just see what the visitors want first. So, saws, no sorry. And... He wants wheat, and I'll just say wait a moment, because that is going to be what the episode is about, mainly, the secret behind visitors, because visitors, there is an extremely good secret which will help you so much with the visitors, which I'm about to tell you. I'm just slowly sorting through all this stuff, and getting everything going right, because everything's full, and it's not nice having everything full. Okay, we'll put some of that on, we will... There we go. Right, so I've harvested most of that, and we'll just go with carrots this time. Okay, because carrots are awesome. Right, so lots of carrots and some soybeans, and we'll just harvest that and do that, and then we'll just sell off. Try and... Nope, the barn is full. This is quite annoying, having this totally full. I, I have since upgraded my silo a couple of times, so it now holds 125, which is great. We'll put some more popcorn in, because that's the only one that does popcorn. And we'll sell popcorn, and we'll sell pancakes. Just check there's none already there. Right, so, and we will advertise the wheat. Okay, wheat is now advertised, and we have everything going great. Okay, cool. And that, so much stuff that needs doing and collecting, and just trying to fit it all in to my barn and silo and slowly trying to get through it right so then we can maybe harvest a couple of these and there we go right so we've got that on and we will put some bread in here like that there we go so our bread is now in and we are going to put some cream up for sale as well right so the cream and that is for sale now and we'll just go in and check along here see the decorations so no we do not want the decorations so we will just pass by that right so now going on to some of the calculations now the popcorn and so this is the only one you can make for now until level 16 now the popcorn produces 36 coins this is unstarred so if you were constantly having this going for an hour making popcorn so if you made two of them that like you know just per hour it would be unstarred it would make you 36 coins and so that's for the popcorn 36 coins for that right now going on to pancakes pancakes would make you if you were constantly producing pancakes which in this case would be two pancakes and in an unstarred barbecue grill that would make you 43.2 coins per hour and then just what I've unlocked is the bacon and eggs. That would produce you 28.8 coins an hour. So that's not as good as the pancakes. So you want to stick with the pancakes and not produce bacon and eggs if possible. And you should easily be able to do that. And with the popcorn, you've only got one option. Right, so going over to here, the cookie, which we unlocked a level or two ago, will unstarred. I I'm just always put that in there, unstarred, because I will do the starred calculations later. But like... If it hasn't got three stars, and so then it was it's producing like 15% slower, or approximately that. Anyway, a cookie will produce 34 coins per hour if you were constantly... Well, actually, it takes an hour. So if you made a cookie, that would make you 34 coins, because it's per hour. 
And so that is the calculations which I have most recently worked out. And I'm just checking if any of this is going to sell right. So we can't advertise that. So yeah, the other calculations which I worked out up to this level. Right, now getting into the most important thing of this level, which is the secret behind the visitors. Now there is a major secret in making them request wheat. Now currently I only have one guy requesting wheat, Greg, but you can get two people requesting wheat. I think so, I'm not sure because I always just immediately sell it because I'm so happy. But yeah, anyway, now the main, main thing that will get you to make the visitors actually useful is to have them request wheat. Wheat is the only thing that they request which would make more sense to sell to them than it would in the roadside shop. Now if you were to sell wheat the amount that they requested, um, which in this case is 25, in the roadside shop for 3.6 coins each or 36 coins per stack you would indeed get more coins from selling it in the roadside shop the problem however is that in the roadside shop it does not generally sell for 36 coins because people just won't buy it there's just so much wheat in the newspaper so considering that you cannot sell wheat for 36 coins per 10 or 3.6 coins per single wheat in the roadside shop, you have to get rid of, well, you want to get rid of it in another way. And since this guy is offering um, that many coins, 70 coins, which is, they always request uh, 2.8 times as many coins. So, for example, if you had 10 wheat, they would request, uh, they would say they'd offer you 28 coins. Which isn't that bad considering in the roadside shop, generally with wheat, you only sell it for 10. So, for example, if they requested one wheat they would, then what they would do is they would then, with that one wheat, they would pay you 2.8 coins, but they'd never request like that. But yeah, but basically, they request, they will pay you 2.8 times. Now what, the way to get them to request it is to have the most of it in your silo or barn. So the barn and the silo are the same. What you have the most of they will, will request. So, for example, at the current moment, they would probably be requesting wheat or sugarcane if they're requesting a silo crop. And if they were uh, requesting a barn storage, they'd probably request nails, bolts, saws, duct tape, and maybe some of the middle ones. But the top ones are the most likely. And since saws is one of the top three, uh, this lady has requested saws because it's one of the top ones. So what you want to do is you want to make sure you always have more wheat than any other silo crop. And that way they are often far more likely to request something that you've got lots of. Because what they like to do, they request what you've got lots of or what you've got none of. So they might, for example, request carrots because I've got no carrots. And they might request any of those things right there in my barn because I have none of them. They request what you've got the least like zero of or what you've got lots of such as nails so what you want to do to have the optimum requests with the barn storage it doesn't really matter because you just it doesn't yeah you it doesn't matter if they request these kind of things because you always reject it anyway because the deal they do is bad but what they what you don't want to have is as I've got here zero carrots because that means that they will probably come and request um eventually like on a law of averages carrots fear often because I've got none so what you want to do you want to have at least one of all silo crops at all times to prevent these requests of these like what they request so for example you want to have one for example for me I'd want to have one carrot one soybean one corn one sugar cane at least at minimum I probably want to have far more or I would and, and and on top of that you would want to have lots of wheat because wheat is what they'll request because you've got so much of it and see now this lady has requested eggs oh look I've got zero eggs because they request something that you've got hardly any of or something that you have a lot of so you want to for example with the barn always try and keep one of everything anyway but the main thing because since you don't sell them barn items it doesn't really matter but the main thing you do want to have is at least one of each of these different silo crops and always the most of wheat. 
And for example, if you do sell them barn items, which I wouldn't recommend, but for example, in a double coin event, it might be useful. You want to have at least one of everything and then have the most of what you want to sell them, which might be, for example, bread, because then they're far li more likely to request bread. So that is the secret behind the visitors. So for example, I'll go ahead and I'll say, yes, here you go, because that is a good deal. And then that will work towards my achievement as well as then... He got, I got a good deal and he was happy and so that is basically it. So yeah, that is the secret behind the visitors and I'll quickly try and briefly sum it up again. Have the most, especially with the silo of wheat, for example now I've gone under the amount so I want to produce some more wheat or buy some more wheat for 10 coins so then I can sell it to them for higher amounts because I want them requesting wheat as much as possible and also try and keep at least one of everything. I made a mistake by doing the carrots and using them all off. But yeah, I will now quickly just sell that. So yeah, you want to always have plenty of wheat in any situation. No matter what level you are, you want to have the most of wheat in your silo at all cases. Or even if you cannot, because for example, you've harvested so much of other stuff and you can't quite sell it quick enough. As long as you have wheat in one of the top amounts. And it's not like you're going to like do terribly at the game if for like days you don't have wheat at the top. But since it's such an easy way of getting coins, you might as well just have the max amount of wheat and always just be selling it and getting all these extra coins. Because you can buy it from like one coin for 10 to about 10 coins for 10 wheat because wheat's generally so cheap there's so much of it and that is not loading which is annoying because then I can't buy anything oh well but yeah so that's basically it that's the secret behind visitors the thing is you can you can sort of rig it so they will request different things and so you want to rig it so they'll request wheat and not request other things that you don't have much of. Now, don't expect that they're going to request wheat every single time because that's not how they work. They will still re request a variety of things. Like, they may even request soybeans, but they're more likely to request the top things. But, for example, don't expect for it to always be wheat. It will probably alternate if I kept that exact amount between sugar, I mean, between wheat, sugar cane, and corn. It might alternate between those three as to what they request the most. But for example, there we go, so now I have some carrots, and now they'll probably request carrots and sugar cane and maybe wheat because now I have lots and lots of carrots, and if I continue harvesting all of those carrots, I'll now have a ton of carrots and they might start actually requesting carrots. But I always want to make sure that I have at least, for example, now I want more, um, more wheat, so although I'll just have two for the time being, I will start making lots, which is good. Right, so I'll even need that for that. So yeah, that's the basic rule. Always keep the most of wheat in your barn at all cases, and then you'll be sweet. If you have any questions about what I said, just please leave it in the comments. Uh, comment about asking me a question, and I'll just re-explain it if I haven't explained it clear enough. And hopefully I'll slowly write so people buy that, which is awesome. Hopefully I'll just clear out my barn storage and be able to upgrade my barn soon because it's painful not being able to upgrade it. And right, so there we go. Awesome. We just got one of those pancakes going. So it's always good to have the machines going, as I've said every episode, basically. Right, so I can't, I can't do that. I'd need to buy some wheat. And, and there we go. Now it's showing up. And we will buy some like that. Right. And I'll probably... Oh, okay. It's just switched over then. And yep, that's a bargain right there and there. And yeah, I'll just buy that. Anyway, and then I will produce some of that. Right. So yeah, that will wrap it up for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me, let me know what you thought in the comments and ask questions. Please subscribe if you enjoyed it. Please like it if you enjoyed it. This has been Supersight, and remember to make coins faster than honeybees make honey.